rarely have statewide candidates for governor or senate or anything such as that been so honest and so pragmatic about the future. So I think that he's off to a tremendous start. We've been friends for many, many years, David and I. Uh, and um, I, I thank him on a personal level for his, his hospitality and his courtesy and his professionalism all through this. These guys were almost opponents in a Democratic primary earlier this year before mm -hmm. Patterson eventually dropped out. How, the, how is the relationship between the two? I, I, I think it's, it's okay. I think Patterson has come to terms with the fact that he's, he's not running. He decided not to run for governor. He's not going to be governor after the first of the year. And as far as I can tell, he's actually laid some of the groundwork for Cuomo to help ease the transition. Primarily, one of the big th things that he's done is he's st he is starting the process the painful process of, of, of state layoffs of, of some state employees. He's looking to lay off almost 900 state employees after the end of this year. And in a way, that, that saves money going forward. Cuomo is facing, uh, I think it's a $315 billion budget deficit for this fiscal year. Governor Patterson has called. He wants the legislature to come back to try to cut that deficit, it's unclear whether they will. But I think he's actually trying to, it's, he seems to be easing the transition. And one yeah. point that Patterson's made in that $315 million deficit is, you know, I cut out a lot of the low-hanging fruit. This mid-year budget gap could be a lot worse if it weren't for a lot of the cuts that I pushed for in the beginning of the year. 